Hi everyone and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Crybaby's Magic Tears. They now come in these cute little blind box bottles and it looks like there's 12 different babies to collect. I've reviewed a couple of these before on my channel and they're the little baby dolls that are dressed in animal outfits which look super cute. So I have three up top and a surprise box on the bottom so let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's find out what's in our cute little box. And I love the artwork. Look at the ladybug baby, that's adorable. There's a mouse, there's a giraffe. Oh my goodness, I love that one. And then let me flip this around. It looks like the ones on the front there. The cute little uh, kitty cat, bunny, and tiger. Or oh, that's a kangaroo, right? Not bad, it's a kangaroo. Oh, she has a pouch there. Okay, that's pretty cute. So inside, ooh, we have more little crybaby bottles. Awesome, so we have six little dolls to unbox and review, and it says, welcome to our world. And they have a cute little home scene on the box. Oh, and look at the little raccoon guy hiding inside. That's, that's cute. <laughs> so I have three pink and three little aqua blue ones to open. So let's start with one of these. And I'm hoping there's a checklist because these guys look cute. There's a hippo, raccoon, the giraffe, oh my goodness. <laughs> A cute combination. I'm always loving little animal themed toys. So they have a little tear strip along the side. I messed up. <laughs> okay, so how to open this? I think it just cracks apart. Maybe not. Oh, it's taped on the bottom and it's taped up top. So I think if we just cut that, it should unfold. Oh, how cute. It's like a little baby home too. Oh, look at the blanket. So here's our little baby. They come with stickers, a little blind bag. Oh, we have a cute little hot pink little chia or leopard. Oh, so cute. So these will cry. I will do the water crying all at the end of the video. Oh my goodness. So you can pose your baby to, to stand. Their tummies are squishy, so that way you can press that for them to cry. And I like how they can sort of stand. <laughs> they have really big heads, but that's part of their cuteness, my goodness. And then they can sit. And they have a really sweet little baby doll design. Their whole head's gushy too, so their body and heads are gushy. And then, oh, she even has a little tail and back. This has like a plug where you can drain the water to make sure your toy thoroughly dries out. How cute is that? Okay. And they can sit in their little bottle house. And here's the stickers to decorate. Oh, we have a Leia. Oh, and then let's take a look at the checklist. I got ahead of myself. These are really cute. Um, here's a look at the dolls. Oh, look at the rare is a poodle named Candy. Okay, that's adorable. <gasps> oh, it's okay, it's a turtle. I thought it was a frog. Close enough. Turtles, I love turtles too. <laughs> How cute. Is that a hippo? I think that's a hippo. They have Flippy is like a clownfish. Okay, that's adorable. This one looks like a toucan. Oh my goodness. And it says 12 more coming soon. Awesome. So this kind of gives you an idea of the directions there. Very cute. And on the back you get a really cute picture. And then here's our little baby and it looks like she's going to have her leopard friend. Okay, so they must come with their animal counterparts, which that's awesome. Let's see if this is inside the blind bag. No, this is our little chair accessory. Oh, I remember they had chairs. Um, I think you have the little mystery windows here that have a bunch of hidden accessories. So let's first open this window. Okay, that's cute. We have a little squishy bottle. So this is how you can put the water in their mouth. Very cute. And then over here, oh, we have, oopsie, we have a little rag doll. It looks like of her little leopard friend. Okay, that's pretty adorable. On this window. Come on out, window. Okay, let's go with the top window. <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out. Um, we have like a little skirt. And then this bottom piece. Come on out. We have a little bow. 
So I just popped all that out and took out the cardboard and I found two other small pieces. So you can use this as storage, which I think I like that than the, the cardboard that's sitting out. So she also has a little pacifier and then there's this cute little, I don't know, little tear, little tear piece there. Um, so I don't think you get animals. That's just her little animal friend and maybe they'll do a separate series with that, but you do get this super cute blanket. So I put the little stickers in. I like how they have their little picture frames and the name. And then here she is in her little tutu and bow with her little ballerina plushie. So cute little idea. Um, as for the clothes, I mean, it's just the plastic part. I think I like them better just in their little animal outfits. <laughs> so that's how I'll, I'll probably keep them. And then they have the little pacifier, which I do like because I think they look adorable. And of course the blanket, which is unique to her little animal friend. So I like the accessories that are sort of unique. I'm curious to see as we open others, if their blind bags um, accessories are gonna be the same. Bottle number two, we'll jump to a pink one. And I'll go through it a little bit faster since I think we already know some of the accessories. So you take that off and again, tape on top, tape on the bottom. Okay, and inside, who do we have? Oh, how cute. We ha definitely are following the little kitty cat theme. We have this little cutie. Oh my goodness, I just love their little animal outfits. There's the little tail. This is Nala. <laughs> so she's a little white tiger. Okay, so their stickers are different. She comes with a cactus and a saxophone. That's awesome. And then this is the little chair so it looks like it'll always have the chair but look at how cute the little matching blanket is okay that's adorable and let's just quickly double check everything okay so we get a little drum okay so that can go on her neck there's a little tiger there that's cute this one let's see oh yeah the accessories are, are a little different this one is a drumstick Cute. This one is the bottle and it's the pink and teal. And then this one, which is the hard to open window, is the bow. Whoopsie. You can put those together and join the joints in there. So let's just make sure I have everything. And what's really cute is that these little things you can pull off to take the cardboard off, but then you can hide the holes back up with the little teardrops and the little heart studs. So I thought that was a, a, a cute touch once you get rid of the cardboard. Here's Nala's little room with the stickers, and then here's Nala with the little drum piece and the drum stick and her little blanket. So I think I will stand her up. She looks really cute. <laughs> Next little crybabies, this is a teal one. I picked up the tape to speed things up, and then inside, who do we have? Ooh, we have someone new. Oh yes, we have the little kangaroo baby. Look at her little head. That is adorable. Let's, oh, her legs are a little stiff. She has the little painted paws and then a little tail. Oh, that's awesome. And then look at her blanket. Cute little happy kangaroos. I really love the fabric. So this is Kinga. She's into sculpture and pottery. Why they blind bag the chairs. <laughs> you also get your checklist, and then let's see her different accessories. Oh, we have a sculpture up top. Oh, come on out. It's a big one. I guess it's of Kinga. <laughs> it's a self portrait. We also have the pacifier in this window, which is kind of hard to get out. Um, let's see, that is the little uh, cardboard tier thing. In here should be another distinguishing piece. Oh, it's the little chisel. It's the carving chisel with a little kangaroo head. So that's cool. That's cool that they're matched to their individual um, characters. So again, the same bottle and then the bow. So it looks like the bow is always in the same corner. Here is Kanga's room decorating. She definitely has a lot of sculptures. And then here she is with her cute little blanket. And then the checklist on the back of each checklist, they do have a cute little artwork picture and it names their animal. So Kanga has her little pet Kangi, which I think is cute. Um, I do wish they had the, the animals included with your babies, but again, that might be a separate series um, for later. 
On to crybaby number four. I would still love to see, well, they're all cute, but I would love to see the hippo, a giraffe, or raccoon. <laughs> that would be awesome. So inside, oh no, we have our first little double. It's our little tiger, Nala, who is still absolutely adorable, and I love the little blanket. I didn't show Nala's pictures last time, so there she is singing, and it's Nala and Tiggy. Okay, I like Tiggy. He's really cute. Okay, on to Crybabies number four. Let's see if we can get another cute little character. And, oh, inside. Oh, I didn't cut that tape all the way up top. <laughs> okay, we do have someone new. Oh, it looks really cute. We have the little ladybug. Look at her little onesie. I love that. And she has the antenna. <laughs> They're rather bendable too. How cute she has pink hair. And then here's her blanket. Oh, the ladybugs don't have faces, but still just a cute little color combination. And her name is Lady. That's rather fitting. And then here's, oh, look at how sweet. Okay, her pet ladybug. Can we just with that little face? You're adorable. This is Lady and Lulu. Oh, that ladybug's so cute. Okay. This might be my favorite one thus far. And then we have her blind bag chair. <laughs> and then this is also decorated rather cutely. Oh, yay! We have um, Lulu on the, the picture, so that's awesome. And then here's a look. I like how this is themed too. I guess that's the mirror piece. I haven't been putting in the mirror, but <laughs> there's that. So inside here, she comes with a mirror. Does it have a sticker to put on? Oh, you might, no, I don't see a sticker for the mirror. Um, and then here should be the pacifier. Which that's such a small piece, we'll get that out later. This one is the little raindrop sticker. This one is the bow, and then the other distinguishing piece, the bottle, and then it should be, I think, in this one, right? And she comes with, is it a brush? Oh, it's a, perhaps a bottle of perfume. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So here she is with her mirror, her little blanket. I love her color combination. She's just really, really sweet. And since I probably won't display them in their homes, I'm gonna keep these stickers um, more for like my journal and planner because I love that. And I think I have more of a use for them there. So you don't have to decorate. You can use them for whatever you see fit. Um, it's cool that they do include them. Oopsies, and if they don't stand because their heads are, are larger, you just gotta kind of adjust their feet. Let me take care of Kinga here. And then our very last one, we have a cute little bottle. I think I cut the tape all the way. And let's see. Oh, I think there is someone new. Oh, look at how cute. We have a Coney, which is going to be a bunny. And one of the ones on the box as well. Oh, she's this cute little white rabbit. And I absolutely love the pink polka dots. I mean, the pink tummy with white polka dots. You knew what I meant. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, I really like her color combination. She also has the adorable bunny print blanket. I love the blanket as an accessory. And then here's her stickers. Oh, look at the perhaps carrot cake and strawberries and cuteness. Look at her little bunny. So yeah, I'm gonna save these stickers as well. And then her little picture and her bunnies. So it's Coney and Cutie. Okay, that's a perfect name. And there she is. She likes to bake. <laughs> Cute artwork. I like her little chef hat too. Okay, and then let's see her distinguishing items. First up, come on out. Oh, it looks like we have a little bunny cupcake. Okay, that's really cute. It's kind of hard to, to see there. And then this one should be the other item, which... Oh, it's wedged in there, coming out. <laughs> oh, cute, it's a little bunny spoon. Okay, that one's really cute. So she's the only crybaby that came with a turquoise uh, chair, bow, and little pacifier. And I think that's really cute. It offsets the pink rather nicely. Okay, so I filled up Kinga with water, and I will say they do hold a ton of water, and they usually require quite a bit before you can squeeze the tears out. Um, and she was crying just now too, but 
Let's give her a squeeze. So there we go. And it's a subtle cry or you can press harder. Oh, I just, <laughs> it's a cute design. So poor little baby. But if you just squeeze, you can definitely see the tears well up as little teardrops. They don't like squirt or jet out. Unless you press really hard, you could do that. But it's a subtle, soft crying. <laughs> Poor little cutie. Here's another look at the five different little crybabies we opened today. You guys will have to let me know which one was your favorite little animal dress cutie. Leave me a comment down below. As for me, I love the designs of the babies in the costumes. I think they're really cute. Um, my favorite lady, I love her little Lulu pet. That's adorable. And I really like the blankets too. As for the accessories, they don't come painted. You can always DIY them. Um, but I think the blankets are really unique to each character and I like that. I would love to see their animal friends in future releases perhaps. So that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and definitely check out my toy review playlist for more awesome toy products. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.